Well, it's official, Battlefield 2042 Season 6 has been revealed, and it's definitely one of the seasons of all time. Let's start with some positives. Credit where it's due, I have to eat my words here a bit, as I seem to remember in videos long ago stating that there's no way 2042 gets supported past year one, and DICE continues to prove me wrong, for better or for worse. I also have to hand it to the team making the trailers for Battlefield as they continue to spin gold from straw and make some exciting and interesting cinematic pieces with the minimal amount of content they've been given to work with. The new map looks interesting, I like its moody and darker atmosphere and it appears to be a much more close quarters infantry focused experience, something 2042 has desperately needed since day one. And that's about where my positive thoughts end. Season 6 for 2042 drops on October 10th and once again brings a disappointing amount of content to the game given how hungry the remaining players are and have been for lots of new additions to the game itself. But to expect DICE to roll into Season 6 with a massive amount of content was always a pipe dream. But I think if they had even announced the arrival of two new maps instead of one, it would have gone a long way in building hype and expectations for the new season, and repairing what little remaining goodwill exists among the community. I know there are many players out there still enjoying 2042 and are excited for the new season, and no knock against them, but to declare the live service model of 2042 as anything but horribly disappointing would just be plainly false. In addition to a new map, the addition of new skins including these cybernetic and rogue soldiers, let's face it they look like discount Strog from Quake, a new assault rifle, secondary weapon, and marksman rifle will also be introduced in season 6. A new vehicle called the Dragonfly will also be added, most likely a small one-person support and transport vehicle that can zip around the battlefield. Okay, that sounds actually pretty fun. But the rest is still disappointingly thin when once again compared to the premium expansions of past battlefields. The silver lining is Season 6 of course will be free like all other seasons, offering a purchasable battle pass and cosmetics, but I would sincerely be happy to pay premium prices again to have the same quantity and quality of additional content we used to enjoy with the Battlefield series. The zombie slash cyborg slash strogified soldiers do look kind of intriguing. They're called rogue agents, so division, here we come. And I'm assuming like other seasons, a new game mode will be added centered around these skins, but ultimately it just does not fit the gameplay, aesthetic, or direction I want from a Battlefield game. While Battlefield has always been arcadey and even goofy at times, past entries at least attempted a serious and grounded vision of what combat should look and feel like, and with 2042 we've just completely jumped the shark, and we've lost that grounded feeling totally. This is more of an experience I would expect in something like Call of Duty, and to be honest, the entire event just reeks of desperation to capture that kind of audience. If this was a one-off portal game mode for Halloween, then that's one thing, but this seems to be the entire focus of the entire season for the main game. It's just not what I personally find interesting or compelling when wanting to play a Battlefield game. Compare this to the excellent cinematic direction and artistic vision of Battlefield 1's expansions and the themes present throughout those, and it's just a night and day difference for me. I'll probably do a longer video on this topic, but speaking of Portal, unsurprisingly there has been no mention of additional maps or content for this mob with Season 6 at all, and it is for all intents and purposes dead at this time. A dwindling player base is not helping, and really the only thing keeping Portal alive is the presence of a server browser, something the base game still desperately needs. With all the base maps reworked, I know there were some hopes that resources could go towards new content, but I was never holding my breath there. It's been apparent for a long time that a small skeleton crew is the only thing keeping 2042 supported, with most of DICE's resources probably focused on the next mainline entry in the series. We'll see more of Season 6 in the coming days, and if it's compelling enough, I will try to make more content covering the newly added game mode and map, but what are your thoughts on Season 6 for Battlefield 2042? Are you hyped? Is there any hype out there at all? Let me know in the comments below. That's it for me, just a nice quick video. Until next time.